lost by one. And here is your Mel Allen. And before we let you go, I think you've got a special message from one of our commentators. Yeah, I just want to say hello to Mel. Beautiful Mel. I'm I was lucky enough to meet her once in Sydney. I just want to say hi. And I see she's still looking beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Thank you. Slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> for you, for you. <laughs> no, not for me. Well, just some positive stuff from the man well of the match. Well done out there tonight. Uh, let's uh, well backs himself. He said he needs to back him. He clearly backs himself. But uh, on and yeah, off the field. Let's uh, concentrate on what he did in the field first. A big <laughs> catch and a couple of wickets. Over to you, uh, either of you. I don't really care right now. <laughs> well, he did it all tonight, didn't he? <laughs> on the field anyway. Uh, 47 off 24 with the bat. Two for 23 off four with the ball. Loves the celebration, doesn't he? More Bravo. importantly, closed the game out, didn't he? He said there at the uh, man of the match ceremony that if he bats well and if he bowls well, the Renegades win. Well, he certainly did that tonight. He fielded well as well. So he's doing all three things. Quite an all-rounder. He's been brilliant, hasn't he, for those two games. He the has. Renegades will be trying to get him for, for the whole summer. Who wouldn't want summer? him? Indeed. Massive inclusion. What about uh, with the bat as well? High score, 47 of uh, 33 runs, a four and four sixes as well. Our C-Bus super innings builder. Yeah, really important innings. There's no doubt about that in the context of this entire game. He's striking right from the word go tonight was outstanding. Some of those shots that we saw over the offside again, Damien Fleming clearing that front leg and freeing his hands up and playing the ball long out over extra cover. There's a top edge six off Sean Tate that carried a long way back, but that's the shot of the night. That's Calypso magic it's at shot its of the best, night, isn't it? To be able to rear back, come forward and, get, and be able to elevate it for six. Um, the hook shots off Sean Tate and that one. Stand and deliver to the wild thing. Six runs again. So genuine power. He's got great variety in his, his batting and his bowling. And we see the Rexona wagon wheel for the man of the match, Dwayne Bravo. And um, one of those unique players, Pano, who hits sixes through the offside as well. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often, does it? We've highlighted a lot so far through Big Bash 3, just how many sixes have scored on the leg side. He hit one beautiful one over extra cover, one over long off, and two over deep square leg today. So he's, uh, he's the complete package. There's no doubt about that. And, uh, yeah, as he said, if he backs himself, if he plays well, the re when, uh, Renegade... He's backing himself, Yeah, partner. get a smile off your face, both of you. <laughs> but uh, there was a little incident. Uh, it didn't all go completely smoothly for him. Uh, before the interview, the man of the match interview... Oh, a little bit of a fright there. Oh, there's there's Kenny, our floor manager, with shots. <laughs> he took it well. Smooth. Um, OK. Peter Siddle. Talk about big inclusions for teams. Obviously, Dwayne Bravo, but... Uh, Great figures for him as well, and he was absolutely buzzing at the end of that. I tell you what, he just continued on his test match line and length, didn't he? Got the outswinger going, wicket first ball, that angle across that got Nathan Reardon out, and the third wicket was an important one. Ludeman and uh, Nisa were batting really well. Well, if you look at it, they were all really big wickets in the context of this game. Michael Klinger, one of their more established players at the top of the order, out in Peter Siddle's first over. He came back, got the very important breakthrough of Nathan Reardon when he was starting to play really well, and then back for his last over, got Ludeman, who was set and looked like he might have got the strikers home. So, terrific return for Peter Siddle, first game back. OK, plenty more still to talk about. Don't go anywhere. We're off to a break here at Adelaide Oval, but we're going to wrap things up on the other end. Don't you go Fun here at Adelaide Oval. A one run win to the Melbourne Renegades as they called for reinforcements in the last couple of games, but too little, too late. Uh, both of you boys, what did the Renegades and Strikers take out of this season? Well, they wanted to win tonight, didn't they? Yeah, to at least finish the season with the, a, a high, the Renegades. But um, I think we learnt with um, the Renegades and, and the Strikers, they just didn't score enough runs when it, when it really mattered. And um, when Finch left the Renegades, it hurt them. And really, there was not a lot of consistency up the top order for the Strikers. I think there'll be a lot of teams look back at the end of this tournament thinking how close they might have been to sneaking into that top four. Um, whichever way this game goes in Hobart tomorrow with the, the Heat and the Hurricanes, both 
both of those two sides will think that they're unlucky to miss out. Certainly the Renegades and the Strikers at the start of this mm. tournament, lots of people had those two teams penciled in for a top four finish. So a number of games have slipped away from a number of teams. Yeah, more on that big fixture in just a moment. But for now, the KFC million dollar six time now. Let's a Z-Box poll question tonight. We were asking you who you think would be the fourth finalist in BBL3. The results are in 51% Brisbane Heat, 32% for your Hobart Hurricanes, 17% for the Strikers. That one's toast, but uh, it leads us nicely to what a massive game tomorrow is. Unbelievably big game tomorrow night. There's no doubt about that. Exactly the same situation presented itself last year. The Brisbane Heat were good enough to defeat the Hobart Hurricanes down at Blundstone Arena. I'm not sure they'll do the same this year. Surely the Hurricanes. They win at home, punter. They're going to have the home crowd, massive crowd down there at Belle Reve. And if they win the incentive, they're into the semi-final versus the Melbourne Stars. They're good enough to do it. Brisbane Heat are They've got to score very runs. Good right now. Their attack's very good. Bollinger and Hilfenhaus. Can they score enough runs, Ricky Ponting? Well, let's hope so. Let's hope they've been, hope they've been saving them for the important time of the, <laughs> the series, which is tomorrow night. So a couple of their middle-order players need to stand up, and if they do, as you say, Damien Fleming, with their bowling attack, I think they can get across the line. You boys will be there, yeah? I'm there. OK, good stuff. Enjoy. <laughs> Just keep your cool, all right? No purple gear. Don't no worry. purple. No purple. Come on. We're not, there's no bias here at all. <laughs> uh, that's it for now. Don't uh, forget tomorrow, if you want to get to the game in Hobart, bigbash.com.au. Great talking to you boys, as always, and great to have your company. Uh, for, from all of us here, thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time.